All right, come on, Colette. You've got to get up. I know you had a really long night of debating all sorts of plays and dramas over at the Utopia Cafe, but you've got things to campaign for today. You have wrongs to right, social justices to fight for. You can do it. Come on, Colette. Wake up. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Green City Living and oh my gosh do they ever have the best view from their apartment? I mean I could probably just lay in their bed. I don't even like cities but I would just like curl up in their bed and just look out the windows at this gorgeous city. I mean look at how much there is to see. I love how multi-layered it is. It's so vertical. <gasps> There's trees up there. I approve. I approve of that penthouse. Oh my gosh and I can actually see into some of their penthouse rooms. That is so cool. Yeah, I would spend forever up here, not only cooing over their succulents, but looking down, just watching traffic. I can kind of get a little bit of the city vibe and why people like cities so much when I'm up here. It's just so big and there's just so many things to do here. Ugh. And then speaking of things to do, we are actually going to be working with Colette today. Ash is going to be leaving for work. He does boring work because he gets to go away to his little office job and we don't get to see him for the entire day. But we got to hang out with him and Colette over at Utopia Cafe last night and Ash has decided that he can put up with Spice District if it's more places like Utopia Cafe rather than all of the really fussy festivals that he's bumped into over there haven't really been his jam. So Ash had a good time last night uh, I think because he mostly was left alone and he had access to large amounts of caffeine and then they were able to jump up into the closet and have a little bit of woo of the who uh, during that time too. But Colette's in a great mood other than the fact that she's completely exhausted now because she got to meet all sorts of new people. She bumped into so many new people I think she can start becoming friends with. Let's see, who is she friendliest with? Sia, oh, we should we should call Sia and see how she's doing. And then Ashley for work pretty soon. Um, but we bumped into Rose and that was really fun. We bumped into Elliot and he's actually the leader of the Drama 2 True Club, which is really fun. So she got to meet all of the Drama Club basically. Yay, and now she's feeling energized and she wants to call someone on the phone. Oh, that's perfect. Let's call up. Should we call up Rose? Because Rose was one of the people that she met. Or Cherry. I wonder if we could call up Cherry. I don't know. I think I, I think Colette wouldn't be feeling confident enough to call up Cherry, but let's try calling up Rose and just see. Let's see. Can we just chat and just see how that goes? What do you think, Colette? Your new friend? Rose seemed pretty cool. Oh, good. It seems like they're getting along okay. But yeah, she seemed pretty cool. So I love that. Just sending them out and bumping into new Sims and just letting the stories unfold. So we're going to go ahead and let Colette just kind of start the day. She woke up in the mood to chat with somebody. And then she needs to go and have a debate and write a letter on a computer today uh, for her social justice activism that she needs to do. And I also think it would be interesting if we could work on her charisma skill, maybe by going out and having her meet with people. So, and let's send a text to Sia just because I'm kind of missing Sia. So let's send an energized text. And then maybe can we send a text to Cherry? Let's send a text to Cherry too. Actually, I think Colette definitely would be the kind of person to roll over and just text a ton of people before she even gets out of bed. <laughs> I see because she wants to talk about Thrill of the Still. Uh, hey, Colette, I'm feeling pumped too. Let's hit the gym. Now, that would be really cool, Sia, but I don't think we can hit the gym right now. There's a difference between waking up feeling pumped because you still have some caffeine in your system and waking up and going to the gym. That's more of an Ash thing, and Colette has work she's got to do. Uh, so let's send her in here. Do I have a coffee maker by any chance? I do. Let's have her brew some coffee to get started. And then... You know, Ash doesn't, I know this sounds like a bit of a jerk of a thing to do, but Ash doesn't really let Colette into his office. It's kind of like his computer. Oh, and his bite tower game got a little bit of money. Sweet. But it's like his computer, his office. So Colette doesn't really have a computer right now. I should probably try to get her one. Maybe I can set her up in this little corner if we move the succulent around. <laughs> but I really like how their I really like how their little, little little bedroom is so simple and nice right now. So I don't know. Colette, we'll have to think about it. But she does like spending a lot of time in there. So see, she just sits, relaxes reads. Uh, so if she needs to write a letter, we might actually send her back to the Spice District and she can write it at Utopia Cafe. But I think she's kind of feeling like challenging the norm, challenging uh, anybody who is, is sort of 
the status quo. I think Colette's feeling like challenging the status quo today by leading a pretty active protest. So we're gonna send her down and we'll let her protest down here in just a second. Start a protest, see how things go. Oh, these are so cute. What's for sale? It looks like there's some yummy stuff for sale. Oh, that's a whole fish. That's not gonna be on Colette's, uh, Colette's menu, that's for sure. But maybe there's something else. Maybe there's something else. I mean, there's cute little faces on everything. Surely there'll be something for them to enjoy. And she's stretching. Okay, let's go say goodbye to Ash. Ash, do you have work? Dude, stop doing this. He does this so often. He gets caught up in whatever he's programming that he doesn't leave for work. He's already late for work. Get out of here, Ash. You're an hour late. Okay, so never mind. He's gonna just like zip by and Colette's not even gonna get a chance to talk to him. Uh, so we'll have to just leave that be. And we'll just send Colette down here because Ash, Ash, you've got to get out of here. You go. You need to go work. And we'll send Colette down here and protest for no sim left behind. She'll start her day because she's feeling energized with a good fashion, good old fashioned protest. And actually she has to use the bathroom. There's a bathroom right here. And I'm beginning to wonder if she actually is nervous about their talking toilet <laughs> that their landlord installed in their bathroom. So she would rather use this bathroom. Oh, I think this is one of the new sims somebody sent me. No Sam left behind, yeah. Make things fair, I don't know how. I have no idea how Sim politics works. I could probably talk your ears off if it was real world politics. That's the benefit of falling in love with a history major, by the way. But not if it was Sim politics, so I have no idea. Maybe we'll figure out how Sim politics start going um, as time goes on. Uh, bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe $500 and have- oh, pff, we've got plenty of money. They're oddly enough becoming kind of wealthy here. Let's see, can I get anybody in on this? Come on, guys! Come on, oh hey, are you coming over to join the protest? Yeah! Yeah, I like you! Look at us! Mizuki! Wait, is she protesting something else? She's protesting something else! Hey, we were here first. We were here first. <laughs> is it is it just whoever whoever can be louder now? Oh, this is actually taking it out of her a little bit. Oh, Sia was here. That's so cool. Maybe she showed up to our house and we just weren't here. So we're competing with this protester. I think Colette, and that's the other thing that I'm starting to learn about my Sims, you guys. And I'll just put this out there in case you guys need a little bit of help with uh, enjoying your Sims 4 experience a bit more too. Sometimes I tend to only pick the goody two-shoes options on things. So if you really want to kind of push yourself, then Colette is tired. She was here first. She was leading this protest first. She's hungry. She has to go to the bathroom, but her, to her toilet talks back to her and that makes her uncomfortable. And here is this person, like, just protesting. Oh, we can only give a donation to the protester? What if I want to, like, confront her? So let's do, uh, just go away. Let's do rude introduction. Because, hello, this protester just started showing up and protesting for something else. That's not the way you do it. That's just not cool. So we're going to come over. Rude introduction. Oh, and there's Cherry. Oh my gosh, okay, so she's lazy, creative, and materialistic. And then, well, well, I think that she would be, let's claim to be a criminal mastermind. Like, if you don't watch out, I'll, I'll take care of like all of your things. You won't have anything left. And there's Cherry, so then let's come over and let's meet with Cherry. All right, let's see. Uh, Cherry, Cherry, no, come back, Cherry. Call over, Cherry. Come to us. And I wonder if Cherry would have heard at the last second as she sachets past about that uh, that criminal mastermind claim. Oh, look at her go. Colette, you really are way too tired for this. Can you get Cherry? Oh, what's going on here? Colette is not participating in the social event. Interesting. I have no idea what kind of social event is going down. Did I miss Cherry? No, Cherry. Cherry, come here. Cherry. Cherry. Cherry, can you? The system is too far away to call. Okay. Uh, 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 ask about career. Ask about day. Ask about day. Hold still. Oh, we got her. We got her, you guys. There's stuff going on down here, too. We got her. Sweet. So I think Cherry will have heard that Colette was like if you like making those threats and claiming to be a criminal mastermind. She's so tired. You're not going to impress Cherry if you drag your feet. By the way, holy moly. Cherry, you are made for this city. Look at her. Wow. Wow. That's just so awesome. But I think, and you know what I think Cherry would try to do? Maybe give Colette a bit of a makeover. Maybe these two will have to hang out 
and we'll have to let them maybe wow. uh, go to this new fashion shop. I actually rotate the lots I put down very frequently for my different neighborhoods. And so I moved out the little cafe that I had put down and I moved in this fashion shop so that Colette could go in and maybe lift something, steal something from the fashion shop. And I thought that would be kind of cool to do. But what if we actually send her and Cherry like out together and maybe they start stealing things from the fashion the fashion shops or maybe they start stealing things from all of the various other stores. It looks like I need to put clothes on these mannequins though. That would be really, really cool. I also want to put down a mall and just have the kleptomaniac club go over there. Oh, and Cherry is going to have multiple kleptomaniac clubs actually. She's going to have the cherry picked group, which is going to be pretty much all of the girls who are in her kleptomaniac crew. And so far, it seems to be an all female crew uh, unintentionally. Just that's what I got sent. So now we're kind of rolling with it. And the two guys that we have so far are kind of like they help her run the uh, front, the, the pawn shop as the front for selling everything. And then there's going to be another club that Cherry is going to run called the Top Cherries or the Cherries uh, on Top or something like that. And that's going to be the ladies who are the best at the stealing the best at stealing the highest positioned in their career they have the best connections or cherry just decides that she's they're her best friends so i think that's going to be really fun to see that come together so let's go ahead and chit chat for a minute so we led a protest i still need to have her write a letter and debate politics and it's like oh i get to let's enthuse about thrill of the still so, and I think she's saying, do you want to get a coffee or something yes, together? Yeah. Maybe they could do that. Um, there's, is that good? Is that good? Yeah. All right. I think that Colette is kind of getting to brag all about the things she's doing. Return to lot. Oh, and Sherry just got a phone call. Darn. Okay. So we'll have to say goodbye to her for now. Man, that's too bad. I really wanted to be able to, to like talk with her a little bit more and maybe even like invite actions or let's see, uh, add to group. Oh, maybe we could add her to group and just do like a little bit of uh, food. Let's get some food with her. So let's add her to the group and then let's come over and I'm going to send Colette over here to use the restroom. And then we'll send her over to get a little bit of food. And there's a new, there's a new snow globe. There's a baby snow globe hiding in there. <gasps> there's a plant. There's a plant inside of this box. Why can't I get the random plant? And, and it looks like a frying pan. That's amazing. I love that. So we'll go ahead and we'll be snagging up that snow globe in the future. But I don't think that Cherry would be very impressed if we snagged a snow globe out of the trash right now. And she's a little bit more high class than that. You know what I mean? So we're going to come over and use the restroom really quickly did cherry just go inside of our house cherry are you like oh what when did i get all these people in my house <laughs> i don't remember getting all these people in my house sia and miko have both come over i don't believe that and cherry is just hanging out in our house too that's hilarious i forgot i gave them apartment keys miko i don't know if i want to give you our apartment key maybe i need to revoke it all right and hang on and let's come over and let's see if we can get food together with cherry. Oh, this looks perfect. All right, order food and vegetarian safe dongo. The ramen wouldn't be, and definitely not the nigiri or the pufferfish nigiri. So can I get people to come and eat with me, like sit together? Yeah, we should be able to do that. Oh, I love the group function. I'm finally starting to figure out how to use the mechanics to make the things I want to happen happen. Fantastic. All right, so we'll come and try sitting together. Is that our stuff? Nope, that's his. I want my dongo. All right, let's get it. Hey, back off. Back off. Who's, who's trying to steal my stuff? Back off, you guys. All right, there is Colette. And let's go ahead and have her sit together. And Cherry should join us in a second. Too bad we don't have a private seat. We have to share it with this tourist lady. Maybe we can steal her wallet. That would be amazing. All right, where's my food? Where's my food? Where's my food? What? What? Where'd my food go? I wanted the dongo. <laughs> oh, oh, sheer conspiracy theory is now a thing we can do. Okay, let's try ordering the food again. All right, that was funky. I'm gonna give this one last go. Okay, let's wait for her to get the food. And let's wait for her to sit down. She's sitting down next to this guy. All right, and then let's try sit together. And let's see if we can get Cherry down here. Sometimes it's a little bit silly. Come on, no, don't lose your dongo. Eat it, eat it, eat it. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. 
And she's not using a chopstick. That's really interesting. All right, so hopefully she'll enjoy that and learn a new recipe while we're at it, no less. And she's gonna pass out. Cherry, 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 cherry. Where's Cherry? Is she still up in our house? Darn it, okay, we'll have to be more careful. I didn't realize, oh, that's not our house. I didn't realize it would be that powerful and we're just gonna come home to all these dirty dishes. <laughs> come join us, come on, come on down. Oh, that's too bad. And Colette, did you finish eating that? Okay, she's gonna go up inside because she's getting super snoozy. I feel like Cherry's actually checking our place out. We should probably not leave the kleptomaniac alone in our house now that I think about it. Um, let's discuss food flavors and maybe just like use that as a way to chat about the food we just had. But then we'll have to say goodbye to Cherry, unfortunately, because Colette's gonna pass out. So Cherry, it was so good to see you. Um, We'll go, yeah, we're into vegetarian food, but then we're going to enthuse about the thrill of the steel again, just really, really casually. <gasps> Maybe if Colette decides she really does not like her neighbor, she and Cherry could go in and become friends and they could try to steal stuff from her apartment. I think they're going to have quite the friendship. So poor Colette here. One second, she's trying to like rally for a cause for a bigger thing, bigger than herself. And the next second, Cherry shows up and she just looks so cool, looks so stunning, and just has such a mesmerizing appeal about her personality and the the sort of adrenaline seeking thrill chasing stuff she's into that the next thing you know Colette is starting to talk about going down a dark path all right and then let's see if I can go ahead and actions disband group and then I think we can just say like goodbye, ask to leave. I don't think I want to give her our, our apartment key just yet. And poor Colette is just passed out. <laughs> Bye, Cherry. You're probably going to leave now and that's totally fine. Like you really don't have to just stand in the hallway for hours. <laughs> she has nothing better to do, huh? All right, there she goes. <gasps> the Humor and Hijinks Festival's in town. What? That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Ash is gonna love that. We can work on our mischief st skill with Colette and Ash is such, he is such a mischief maker. In fact, leveling up Ash's mischief skill to level 10 is definitely something I should be working on. It's only level two right now, what? Nah, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna increase that. We're gonna definitely increase that. But I need to go ahead, oh, let's go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival and check out the fireworks. I hear they have the best firework, firework show in town. Okay, all right. Uh, bring some friends along. Uh, that would be really fun if we could bring some friends along. I wonder, could we bring Cherry along? I don't know if we would call her friends. Let's bring Sia along, because Sia was visiting. And are we friends with anybody else? Sia is really like our closest friend. And then we'll have the girls all go and enjoy the Humor and Hijinks Festival. And as soon as Ash gets off work, experience this festival. And then once we have a sense of what it has to offer, we'll make sure we make the companion lot to go down with it too. But I think that Colette is definitely getting distracted from her job as a politician and as a do-gooder of social good um, by Cherry. Because there she was protesting. And the next thing you know, Cherry shows up and all, all bars are off. Like, oh, who's this? Leanne Moon, she's just working on her thing. Who's this? Amy Jolie. Oh, she's part of the cherry picked group. <laughs> she's wearing such a different outfit. I didn't recognize her at all. Wow. Okay, so everybody's here. And then <gasps> the Humor and Hijinks Festival is over here. Okay, you guys, next time we're going to dive into the Humor and Hijinks Festival. It looks like we already have quite a few very interesting, uh, glowing things happening and so many fireworks. Okay, we're going to have to pick a side. We're going to have to throw Colette into this and we're going to have to see what she thinks about all of this. And we're also at the art gallery. So we're going to have to see if I'm going to leave the art gallery here or maybe I'll plunk down a different lot to give us something really exciting to work on. So lots of humor and hijinks coming up next time. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.